Hey, what's up, Animaniacs? My name is Animane, and welcome to Would You Rather. This is a series where I answer right. your Would You Rather I questions that you left for me in the previous episode. If you have any Would You Rather questions that you would like me to answer, feel free to leave them down in the comments section below. And if you missed any of the previous episodes, there will be a link in the description that will take you to the entire playlist. And of course, if you enjoy this series, make sure you hit that like button. It just lets me know that you want to see more Would You Rathers. You want the series to continue. But with all that out of the way, let's jump into the Would You Rather questions. Starting us off this week, we have Dark Team Titan who asks, Would you rather be over emotional or have no feelings at all? This is a nice tough one from Dark Team Titan because I mean like having no feelings, it means I, you know, I won't, it has its ups and downs. You know, I won't feel sad or depressed. But in exchange, I also won't be happy. Uh, I won't be ecstatic about anything, uh, or any, you know anything along those lines. I won't get those those certain highs in my life that uh, a lot of people look forward to. Um, and then, of course, being over emotional. I'm not the kind of person who enjoys being super duper over excited about something. Uh, and where to the point where you show it in public, or whatever. Like when I see people being like like screaming in joy or whatever in public, I feel embarrassed for them. Uh, I don't know, that's just me. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who enjoy seeing that stuff, seeing other people super duper happy about something, but I, I'm not one of those people. Uh, I guess I, I more or less like to keep to myself. Um, but when you think about it, you know, having no feelings whatsoever, like living a life with no feelings, are you really living? Because I mean, like, the, the, those things uh, in life is something that everyone should experience. You know, that's life. You know, feeling the, the sad parts of life or, the, you know, the good stuff in life, like love and happiness, whatever. And, you know, that's all collectively life. And to live a life like that, it's it doesn't seem very entertaining. Like, it doesn't seem like a very great life to just sit there and be, I guess, a baseline, you know, not interested in anything more or less you always have that blank look on your face more or less and uh and t you know some people are you know are we like you know yeah but you don't have to worry about you know you know failing relationships and stuff like that and i i, I always go back to that one quote that i i heard from i think it was a song it's you know sometimes you just have to fall apart to be complete and that's that's more or less and the way I see it is, you know, if you want to be a complete, you want to live a complete life, a complete, and you know, be a complete human. You gotta, you gotta live through those downfalls. Uh, so I think I would much rather be over emotional because I think that losing those feelings, like absolutely losing those feelings, it just seems like a huge waste of a life. But uh, yeah, there you go. That's my answer to that. Would you rather? Thank you, Dark Teen Titan. Let's move on to our next one. Eggthin324 asks, would you rather not be able to grow any hair at all on your body and there's no medicines to fix it or hair that grow three times as fast and twice as thick? My lord, that's pretty much describing <laughs> one of my friends, Crackle7, or I don't know, the man with a thousand names on my YouTube channel. <laughs> I, he's one hairy motherfucker and uh, I don't think I would much I, I don't think i really like being completely hairy especially like like in the summer and you know how annoying that would be i'm, I'm also making the assumption that i can't like shave it off or whatever because I, I, again like that would be a cop out if you have a cop out for like i can't take medicine medicines to make me grow hair or whatever have that hair grower formula i put on my head or whatever <laughs> uh, then i'm assuming i also can't shave it off let's just say it's iron hair i don't know uh, or it just instantly grows back. There you go. It's magical hair. And uh, so, but I, it, like I was saying, it's just like being in the summertime where I live, I like, I think that would be really, really brutal and really, really disgusting. It probably wouldn't be very appealing to many uh, women. Uh, so <laughs> I think I would probably go with just no hair at all. I mean, yeah, I'll be bald, but I mean, sometimes, you know, there are people out there who know how to work. Uh, baldness and as long as you own it uh, you should be fan fucking fantastic at least uh, the way I see it and there's nothing and, and uh, okay let's be honest like 90% of my family's bald anyways on my on my father's side so I'm gonna be bald anyway so you might as well just own up to it and uh, at least I don't have to worry about shaving which is good uh, <laughs> I mean that's really all the plus sides I can really see from it so I'm gonna go with of course being completely hairless all over my body and owning it and just absolutely owning it you got the shades going you got the top hat okay not the top hat maybe the fedora i don't know and just just rock it and just own it you know so uh yeah just like i said just because being covered in hair in the summertime like i would have to move somewhere in 
very cold to maybe even not be disgustingly like sweaty all the time i don't know but thanks for you thank you xn 324 for your question let's move on to the next one quino asks would you rather have your breasts as big as Nicki minaj or have your butt as big as Nicki minaj uh i, I probably should have looked up how big her breasts and ass are but let's just say it's generically large okay <laughs> yeah that's right generically large um i i want to say the so part like the guy in me wants to say the big breasts <laughs> right but i like you know from uh, many of my friends of the opposite gender you know they always complaining about how they're it's, you know, their breast gives them bad backs. So they're always in the way or whatever. So it doesn't seem like something I would want. Uh, so I'd probably go with the big ass. I mean, there are a lot of, uh, I guess, I don't know. I was going to say women that are into big asses. But I don't know what women look, in men, <laughs> look uh, for in men. Do they look for nice asses? I don't know. I'm assuming. Or big asses, rather. Uh, <laughs> I'm assuming they do. I don't know. But I wanted to say I would go with the big ass just like I said just because I wouldn't want to live with back problems and all that other stuff that comes with having really large breasts but anyways thank you for your question Quino let's move on to the next one I am paradise ass would you rather always make it to the Stanley Cup finals but lose every time or always make it to the playoffs but lose the first round every time the way I see it is if you're making it to the playoffs and uh, you're losing every round, or the first round, or whatever. Uh, then your team's not pulling in. Your team's not gonna be pulling in as much money as you would be if you were always in the Stanley Cup Finals. Even though you lose every year, you know every year reoccurring, it's gonna be. Oh my God, are, is you know this team is your team gonna finally make it? Let's go with the Arneville Arnimaniacs. Are the Arneville Arnimaniacs finally going to win the cup this year? You know. Put your seat in the butt and watch and find out. You know what I mean? Like th that kind of thing would sell tickets. It'll help the team grow uh, and make uh, you know money and, and, and stuff like that and keep your team alive. So you know your team eventually. Because the way I see it is, that, okay, yeah, you make it to the playoffs, but if it's like a, a guaranteed every year uh, to not make it past the first round, eventually people are not going to stop filling those seats. At least not as much as you know maybe the first time you, you hit the first round playoffs. Um, so. Just like in a financial kind of way, I see that, you know, always losing the Stanley Cup Finals would be a lot better position than it would be if you're losing the first round of the playoffs. So, yeah, we're going to go with that. Make it to the Stanley Cup Finals, but always lose just because of, your, you know, it's always going to fill the seats. Everyone's going to be there and be like, oh my god, are they going to make it? Are they going to make it this year? Uh, rather than, you know, it's kind of like with me and the Maple Leafs. Like, I used to love watching the Leafs play all the time. I watched their season. I watched their playoffs. But then, you know, they stopped making the playoffs. Or, you know, not even that. Like, even the more recent one. I think it's the recent one. Or maybe it was the year before. I don't know. They make it into the playoffs after, like, 10 years of not making it into the playoffs. And then uh, they choke. They choke. They're doing so well, and then they choke. You know, and I just gets get to the point where it's like, I'm done with the Leafs. Uh, let's go watch a team will actually do well in the playoffs. So... There you go. There you have it. Stanley Cup Finals, but lose every time is my answer. Thank you. I am Paradise. Let's move on to the next one. Michelle G asks, would you rather hate your job or love your job and never get any time off? So I'm guessing hate job would be, you know, your normal nine to five. You have your two days off a week kind of thing. You get vacation, all that stuff. But if it's a job that I absolutely love, I'm working there. So what do you mean by never get any time off? You mean like I just do my nine to five, but I get no vacation. I don't get, I have to work seven days a week kind of thing. Or do you mean I'm there 24 <laughs> seven? I'm assuming it's the, the normal nine to five, you know, five days a week kind of thing. Uh, so I don't know. It's hard to say because, because it's like never, never get any time off. Meaning, you know, pretty much my life is devoted to my work or I can go, you know, hate my job. Uh, and that's hard like because at some point it's like if I'm gonna be there all the time I get never I never get any time off it's going to be you know seven days a week and eventually I'm going to start to hate my job and that's the way I see it like a lot of people will say like you know if you do something you love it's not really a job right uh, that's bullshit that's bullshit and everything you know no matter how much you love your job it's always gonna be a job you may enjoy your job uh, and not hate it but it's still gonna be a job 
Um, so, I, I don't. I really. The thing is, like, I don't really want to hate my job. I think if you hate your job, you're gonna hate your life. Uh, so I would think I would much rather go for the job that I love and just never get any time off. Do my regular nine to five, seven days a week, and then you know, from five o'clock till ten o'clock, I do what I gotta do. And, uh, at least there's lots of money in that. I'm assuming as, you know, cause I'm going to get overtime for those two days. I'm assuming anyways. So, uh, and eventually I'll be, maybe because of all this mo extra money I'm making, uh, maybe I'll be able to retire early. Who knows, right? So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with the love my job, have, sorry, work at the job that I love and then just never get any time off. And then eventually I'll get to the point where uh, I can probably retire early. Unless in your stipulation of no time off means I have to work till I die. And that's a different story. But we're going to pretend that I'm going to be able to get early retirement. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for your question, Michelle G. Let's move on to our last one. To Lazy Panda wants to know, Would you rather eat KFC for the rest of your life or eat Burger King for the rest of your life? Um, hmm, if you asked me this like when I was younger and a kid or whatever, I'd probably say KFC because uh, I enjoy chicken a lot, even if it's bad for you, like fucking really bad like horribly deep fried chicken <laughs> but uh nowadays i i'm into more of the burger king like i'm one of those people that's like you know you want what do you want me today mcdonald's or burger king i'll take burger king over mcdonald's any day at least where the burger king i go to it actually looks and even tastes like an actual burger even though i know it's not uh it still tastes a lot better than the dried up sometimes rock solid fucking uh meat patties that I mean, I'm not even gonna call them fucking hamburger patties meat patties that <laughs> is it even even meat these patties that fucking McDonald's give you so uh, I probably uh, I'm gonna go with Burger King I love their poutines and I, I, like I'm Canadian I know Americans probably don't know that much about poutines have had them before but I fucking love them and I think Burger King has the best fast food poutine anyways uh, <laughs> so that's what I always get um, and not to mention oh my god what is that thing called the double double stacker or something or the stacker that thing is fucking, oh my god, artery clogging beast. Oh my god, I'm sounding fat now. Anyways, let's uh, let's end that there. I'm gonna go with uh, Burger King over KFC just because I prefer burgers over chicken, at least from Burger King. Uh, KFC is not too bad, but eh, whatever. I'll take I'll take the Burger King. I find Burger King have I guess better quality food than. KFC. But thank you for your question to Lazy Panda. And of course, thank you guys for submitting your Would You Rather questions this week. Make sure you leave your Would You Rather questions down in the comment section below. Make sure you hit that like button. Show your support for the channel. And of course, click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, stay dirty. Yeah.